if you smoke, especially if you're young, um, your, your brain structure is altered, and there's lots of evidence for that. The pleasure, the dopamine pathway, is also downregulated, which means that, um, for me anyway, things were really not interesting or pleasurable. The only way I could find something interesting, and I, I kind of chain-smoked marijuana, um, it wasn't as strong as it is today, but the only way I could find anything interesting was to smoke, because I, my receptors were absent. It was kind of defeating the purpose. As a result of that, there is an increased risk for other addictions. And um, this is uh, sometimes called the gateway theory. And some people think, well, and I was one of these actually initially, I thought, well, it's just because if you use as a teenager, you're more likely to develop a problem. Doesn't mean that the early using causes the problem. It could just be that people like me who like drugs like them early and they like them late and they're likely to try these things. Remember, they like novelty too. So drugs are novel stimuli. Um, but it turns out we've done the experiments now in non-human animals and just uh, a little bit of exposure during adolescence. Because it alters your brain structure and your dopamine pathways, makes you not enjoy drugs as well. And because they're not as enjoyable, you have to take more to get the same effect. You're sort of innately tolerant. You smoke pot, you're innately tolerant to alcohol and to heroin. Therefore, you're more likely to take them because you sort of need to up the ante a little. More likely to commit suicide, um, more impulsive, and less likely to graduate from high school, and more likely to be depressed. The final sort of uh, bad news about this is that um, these effects look like they're going to go across generations. So in non-human animals, when we give uh, adolescents uh, exposure to a little bit, eight days or a week of THC, and then we take it away, we let them grow up, we let them um, mate, their offspring, their children, and their grandchildren are also at increased risk for negative mood and increased risk for um, taking more drugs of abuse. And that's a whole new area of research. Does someone you love suffer from drug addiction? Accidental drug overdoses are the number one cause of unnatural deaths. Don't wait until it's too late. Call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-648-6734. A caring addiction specialist is awaiting your call.